Devante was new to our school in second grade. He uh, came from a school in South Minneapolis. They got here after school started in October and immediately the teacher identified that he didn't have a lot of the very basic things for reading like um, letter sounds and phonics and, and that sort of thing and he was really struggling. He's a sensitive boy, he cares what other people think, he is fun-loving, he is a sweet boy, he's a good boy, he wants to do well. For Devante, it really, he really, he just shut down. He didn't want to even try. He just became very angry. He didn't like school, he didn't want to go to school. Attendance became an issue. His self-esteem really suffered. And we kind of felt that maybe it was a way that he could avoid um, showing that he didn't know what was going on. Oh, it was hard. It's very hard. It, it made me feel uncomfortable, sad. Just not like he didn't want to learn anything. Like It continually got worse. It got, you know, because the classroom just, the class just kept moving forward in their learning and he just couldn't keep up. So Felicia and her family moved to Egan from South Minneapolis. She's a strong woman. She's shy, but she's super hardworking, and she cares about her kids a lot. She lost her job after 20 years of working in a restaurant in Minneapolis, and so financially they were a little strapped. So her real main concern was finding a job. She also knew that Devante was struggling, but she really was at a loss for how to help him. The first thing I did was set up a step-by-step -step process for her to kind of identify what the areas that she was most concerned about and work on those. Then she had a really good job history, super stable, hardworking woman. And um, so I really encouraged her to get out and to start applying to the many restaurants in the area, which she did. And um, a couple of months afterwards, she did get a job. That helped that whole financial piece. I also connected her with Food Shelf, um, with our Armful of Love Christmas program, I helped her apply for energy assistance. We worked on a family learning plan. So once we kind of stabilized some of those financial issues, then we really started to concentrate on Devante and what she, how she could support him at home. I knew that he needed to, we needed to evaluate him for special ed to see where exactly the issue was and how he, we could help him. She got him tested and then, they go, then he goes into like little groups to, um, help him learn more so he won't get so distracted. And he's really improved on that now, which I'm happy. It's really turned, turned it around a lot. If I asked my teachers how valuable Mary Nornberg and the Partners for Success program is, they would say it's, uh, it's, a, it's a 10 plus. And they really need, we need, our kids need, our teachers need to have a Mary or a Partners for Success program. I believe it's one of the reasons that we are as successful as we are. I have a lot of love for her. She's a very special person. She's very nice, she's willing. She went out, she was very outgoing, very special. To say that it takes a village to, to teach a child or to raise a child is really key here. The teacher and I worked on this family learning plan. She helped to make some accommodations. The school counselor was very involved, helping him have a place to go when he was angry, helped him process his feelings. The community was really involved because we had a whole network of volunteers that would read with him and do math with him. The change in him was amazing. He was so happy. He felt so proud of himself just with this tiny bit of success. We've watched Devante's self-esteem, his educational progress, his emotional health, uh, all just grow leaps and bounds. And lo and behold, his behavior issues subsided. He's very confident. He don't act up in class. He wants to learn. I can see it now when he comes in the morning, he jumps off the bus. He's happy, wants to be here, feels a part of his class. I think his friendship circle has, has grown. He's my son. <laughs> He's a very happy kid. I want, him, I want him to finish high school. I want him to go to college. 
something that I've never done. I just want him to be successful in life. <laughs>